What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute glute band burner. This is actually a remake of one of our most popular workouts here on the channel. So grab your glute bands. We've got 45 seconds of work per exercise and we're grouping them up with two exercises together at a time, three rounds each. So go ahead and grab your bands, your water, your sweat towel, and let's get started. All right, let's step it out nice and wide. Knees go out. Side to side, good job. Three, two, turn your toes forward and let's go bent leg and straight leg. Pulsing up and down here is gonna wake your quad up a little bit, so let's do that. Two, one, switch sides, same thing. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Make sure you've got your bands around you. Three, two, and one. Step it back into a high pike. Heels on the floor. Pedal, pedal, pedal. So we stretch the calves. And then one at a time. Step it up wide outside of your front hand. Drop the back knee down. And switch. switch. And switch again. Good. Both feet back. You're in a plank position and you're going to exhale. Drop it down. And tilt your shoulders left to right. If you are able. Good. Back into your plank and your pike. Step it out nice and wide, up and down in a squat. Four, three, two, and let's go ahead and grab our bands. I want you to start with your light band. Okay, and we're gonna go front, side, and back with this leg, okay? So we go front, out, back. Let's go. So you're tapping right in front, and then heel out to the side and then in the back. So we've got constant tension. Good work. And I'm holding on to something just to kind of show you this is something that could help. If you do this and you feel good, then you can hop off the wall or the rack, whatever you're holding on to. Nine. Three, two, and rest. Good. Same thing is going to happen on the other leg. Okay, so we're taking it front, side, back. Okay, other leg is just a little bit bent for balance. Three, let's go. You're gonna feel it in both glutes. Okay, so if you're like, why is my other leg hurting? Because it's working as well. Good job, 12. and rest and we're back to the top evaluate here if you want to go heavier in weight or if you want to progress that by hopping off the wall or your support okay I'm gonna advance off the wall focus hard on this balancing leg let's go Second half, good job. I'm trying to let you really focus here. And a powerful lift 
is what we want. So when you're lifting out to the side, make sure it's not just kind of like a slow drag. Heel is driving. Rest, good job. Back to the other side. Okay, this is a great workout because it's kind of the same relative position with a band on your legs. Grab water anytime you need it. Ready, let's go. And you will also notice if one side, it's a little bit harder for you to keep this stationary leg down, that's likely the side that you need to strengthen your hip a little bit. So this serves that great purpose as well. And for me, that's the right side. This I know this mirror image thing, more confusing than it needs to be, but this is my right leg. <laughs> and this is the one that I have to work a little harder on for balance, hip stabilization. That's why I noticed this one a little bit more, working harder during things like this. And that's what helps me even out my muscular imbalances as best I can. Rest, good job. One more time on each side. Whew. All right, shake it out. You got eight, seven, four, three, and let's go. cross position in the front and in the back is just meant to get a bigger stretch here in your lifting leg. Good, and you just saw the band fall down. What you have to make sure that you do, which when I got tired, my knees got really close together. Okay, that's why the front one has to be a little bit away or bend your knee to keep that tension. Let's go. Good job, 15 seconds down. Heel to the side, come on, 14. Seven, five, last one, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. You can leave your band on. You can judge by what we have to do next to pick your strength. Low squat, shuffle, okay? So here, here, one, two, one, two, okay? After that, squat, tap out twice, tap out twice. If you wanna grab weights, please feel free. I'm gonna keep this one body weight for myself today. All right, let's go. Low squat, shuffle, two, one. And when you're shuffling, main thing, knees fight out. So if you're in here and they come in close together, the band will fall, but also you're not gonna get as much out of this. Good job, 15. Three. Good job, rest. Squat tap out. The objective is to get your knee out, out. All right, here we go. Four. Let's go.
14, come on. Four, good job, two. Rest, all right, here's round two. If you can make that tougher on yourself, let's go up in band strength or grab a dumbbell. Ready, squat, shuffle, come on. seconds come on ten probably already has, but stay with it here. Six, three, two, come on, let's go. One, two, switch, go. Great job, keep it up. We're strengthening the hips, we're working the glutes. So many ways this is gonna pay off for you and your strength training, even cardio. Nine, eight. Two, great work. Two down. We go one more round of each. Go up in resistance or add a dumbbell if you would like. Squat shuffle, three. And come on. work. Woo. Second half right here. Come on. 22, 21. Knee out, knee out, knee out. Eight, seven. And rest. All right. Last one here, and then we're gonna take it to a little uh, hip extension. Okay, instead of all sort of abduction, we'll switch it up after this next 45. Two, one. If you think of the leg that stays as also doing work, instead of just this leg moving as working, gonna get so much more out of this. So think of this one going drive, drive. seconds. Whew. All right, let's take it down. Tabletop abduction and glute bridge pulses, okay? You can either do a tabletop abduction with sort of like a reverse plank situation. So here, out, or you can take it down here, okay? Let's go.
20. job now come on down to your glute bridge position take it down here you're gonna stay up the whole time out 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 ready three let's go good job breathe and work Twenty-two. Open. Open. Eight. Seven. And rest. Good job. Whew. All right, back up onto your hands if you're able. Three, two, nice wide feet, let's go. Good job, 20. We're in round number two now. Come on, let's turn it up. If you want a little bit more volume out of this, you can just go tap, drive, tap, drive. Rest, back down to your shoulders. Good job. This is one where you can add weight if you would like. Ready? Two, one. Good, focus on the power of this one instead of just going in and out. Focus on driving out hard, slow on the way back in. And right before you're relaxed, drive it out again. One more round through both, and then we're gonna stand back up. Two more circuits after this. You're doing really great. Stay with me. Four, three, two, one, go. Almost there, 15. Seven. Rest, all right. Back down, last 30 here on this next one. Hips up and let's go. Remember, power out. Nice work.
15, good job, let's go, let's go. 12. Stay up, push through, four, three, two, and rest. 30 seconds and we're coming back up to standing. Good job. Whew. All right, exercise number one of this next circuit. You're gonna have a curled hamstring and two pumps to the side. So you can either use a bench or a box or your dumbbell rack, go one, two, one, two, or you can try to balance here, just a little bit of a hinge, okay? Let's go. Right before you go, curl the hamstring, then lift knee and ankle. Now I'm gonna ask you to stand as wide on your mat as you can, if not off to the sides. All right, you're gonna tap in ankle wide, ankle wide, ankle wide. Okay. Two, one, ankles together, out, out. And you're shifting your weight to the outside leg. There you go. What we're trying to avoid is our knees gliding in here together, which feels a lot better, but knees are out. Hamstring curled, two pumps to the side. And I recommend just holding on to something. The wall, a bench, a box. Ready? Curl, let's go. Up, up, back down. Almost there, come on, 14. Three. Rest. And we've got one more round of both. Come on, stay with me here. All right, curl the hamstring and then we lift. Two. One, let's go.
20. Stay with me, ready? Two, one. <sighs> Try to think of your knee and your ankle staying right over top of each other. Okay, so when you're stepping side to side, they're stacked and we're not stepping out here and here in two different positions, okay? Stack, stack. Six. Two, and rest. Lay it down on the floor. Superman position. Good work, guys. All right, we're going back hypers here. Using your glutes, you're gonna lift up. We go out, up, out, up. Okay, if you can't connect up top, you can also curl, but keep your thighs off the ground. Okay, so out, up. Two, one, let's go. And the objective here is still outward heels. Good job. Nine. Three, rest, good job. This next one, don't worry about clicking up together. You're just going lifted, out, 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 okay? Don't come any closer than your hip width apart. You're just thinking wide and then wider. Ready, let's go. Facing down, come on. Second half. Nine, eight. Two, one. Rest for 15. You got 45 more seconds here in this position. Okay, I want you hamstring curled, quads up, and you drive those knees out, 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 and we just hold. Three, two, one, up, drive the knees out. This is harder than it looks. And you can touch your heels together, keep driving your knees out. Second half, come on. Out, out, out. Keep the heels up. All you've got left here, nine, eight. Out, out, four, three. And rest. You have made it to your cool down. Beautiful work. All right, let's lift up tabletop position. Come onto your hands and knees. You can leave the band on for right now and just push your hips back into each side. Push and push. And 
and push. Good job. Think of shooting all your energy of the stretch back to the very back corner of your glute. Good job. Now come on up on your knees and if you're able, hands up. Good job. Come up onto your toes if you can. Reach back for your heels and then really open up your hips. And if you're not able to do this yet, let's go one side at a time. Good job. And switch if you're doing one side. Good job. Come back in, hands on the floor, toes down and then heels down. Lift your hips up. Slowly take your time to walk back to your toes and then shift your weight into your heels. Legs as straight as you can make them. Looking up away from your knees. Really pushing the weight into your heels and your hamstrings. And relax your back, good job. Bend your knees and roll up nice and slow. Bring your ankles together, let your band fall. Whew. Good job there, cross one leg over, shift to that back leg. So proud of you for embracing this challenge today. A lot of this prime program is power. A lot of it is stabilization. A lot of it is just pure strength. Strengthening you in ways that you may not take the time to do outside of some type of program that gets you ready for something. So this was one of those workouts. Good job, and as you head out today with a gentle push on your tailbone, please remember to stretch and keep moving. If you can go for a walk either later today or tomorrow morning before the next time we work out today and just kind of shake your legs out, shake your glutes out, that will help your recovery tremendously, as well as getting enough protein in your day, hydrating and getting some rest. So I'll see you back here for our next workout. Great job today.